Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Virgo. So there is a new offer here. Also with the Page of Cups, if there has been any type of blockages, even with your, um, like your intuition, your psychic gifts, um, spiritual gifts, um, your emotions, you haven't been able to express yourself. Um, a lot of people during the last few weeks or even months really with so many planets being in retrograde especially with venus in retrograde it has been very difficult for people to express themselves and feel like it was okay for them to make offers or to receive offers a lot of people you had um different people from your past coming back and that's causing this major shakeup. that energy is about to end so there's an energy that has been around a lot of people that has been causing stagnation um confusion being stuck in between making choices between you know just different paths different jobs maybe even people for some of you but you now are about to get that that um independence back okay some of you you need to make sure that you're using this virgo energy that we're in still to be um manifesting wish fulfillment for yourself working on your abundance i just heard budget working on planning um financial planning your budget um let's see so today is actually it's sunday september 17th we actually have the Le libra season starts in a few days libra season starts friday september 22nd and then on september 29th we have an aries full moon so that makes sense there's like order with the libra um libra season coming very soon that's going to be a season of balance um i've been talking about this so often people right now who truly truly have like a lot of libra placements you're going to see them getting into like that north node energy especially of their life purpose they're they're coming in to balance all of the things that have kind of just been in chaos for a while the autumn equinox is, is coming on the same day the Libra season starts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the, the Libra new moon is actually October 14th. So I, I feel like things are just balancing out, thankfully, because a lot of things have kind of just been in disarray. So it's balancing out. Virgo season again, nine of pentacles. It's like it's time for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Communication is about to improve. Um, some of you definitely have had problems like with your vehicle. Like I said, technology, whatever the case is. Allow yourself to there. be patient. It's about to work out for you. For some of you, if you had um, perhaps a karmic couple in your energy, this king of pentacles, queen of wands, Someone here is about to finally put this down because they know that, the, yeah, somebody is realizing that whatever they've been trying to do in the background to you, this could be two different people in your life. Or like I said, for some of you, it's a karmic couple. This could be practitioners. They could be in a coven, secret society or whatever. Whatever these people have been sending towards you energetically is about to come to an end. You have five of pentacles and the five of swords. These people are coming to realize that, um... With, the, with whatever they're sending towards you, it's not going to work, okay? Four of swords, somebody realizes now whatever they've been doing here to try to make you surrender to whatever they're trying to do to you or to your life, that it's not going to work and that they need to just put this to a rest, okay? Because for some of you, you've had a person that's been watching you. They could actually be in a relationship. They've been watching you and they've been trying to ensure that you don't have love. Love, a very beautiful, bright new opportunity. It's Wow, the Knight of Cups. Yeah, you you have love coming towards you. And someone has been in the background really stirring up a lot of chaos and conflict. Again, this Queen of Wands and King of Pentacles, they could be relate, they could be connected as in like they're a couple or they're a part of a coven. They're doing this or this could even be individual people. You could have a boss, a friend, family member, lover, ex-lover. But some of you, it, it's a couple. Some of you, you have a person in your energy that's in a committed relationship or they're married. They've been trying to block you from moving forward. I feel like you're very single, stable, self-sufficient. You're well on your way. You could be ending certain things in your life. Um, mindset, behavior patterns, um, changing up your habits. But there is a rebirth and transformation that's coming after you being stuck at a crossroads. There's definitely some kind of stalemate energy that is being lifted up finally. Thank goodness. Because here you have Ace of Cups. This is you loving on yourself. 
okay? But as you love on yourself, you're becoming much more radiant and you have new love coming towards you. Ooh, the emperor. Okay, page of cups. Some of you, you could have a masculine energy that's um, around you or this person is just energetically connecting with you. They could have been... I feel like this person, they've been afraid to make an offer, okay? They've been afraid to make an offer to you or with the because it's underneath the Page of Cups. If there was some type of small offer, you may have felt like someone was only giving you like the bare minimum. They wasn't giving you much. There's like a budding type of relationship here. For some of you, for sure, it's a very small offer um, that was put on the table. Somebody now, they're ready to go all in. So you and another person both could have been at a crossroads stuck. You may have had to heal some situations from the past and finally make a decision. The decision is being made. So you're going to start seeing a lot of things. Like I said, um, I just keep getting jagged edges are going to be made straight. A lot of issues, obstacles, and challenges when it comes to communication, especially with love, because you have to remember Venus was in retrograde and then Mercury went into retrograde. They were both in retrograde at the same time. So a lot of people have experienced a lot of chaos, conflict, and just turbulence in their relationships. So if you had a partnership with someone that was in the beginning stages, Page of Cups, it had not even had a chance to really get off the ground. That's because of the energy. That person is now going to be able to come towards you with a, a major cup of love. So if someone has been, you know, just like, hey, I don't need to really focus on a relationship. Let's just keep it real simple, real cute, real casual. Somebody now is like, no, I want to be in a committed relationship, I want to show you that I'm serious about this because the page of pentacles behind it is the ten of pentacles. So either you're getting rid of somebody in your life that's breadcrumbing you and this is going to bring in someone brand new or someone in your life who you felt breadcrumbed by, they could have been stuck and stagnant and so were you because we're going to clarify this tool of source. You needed to get something else out of your energy. And for most of you, what you needed to get out of your energy was this couple here or these people in this cult secret society or whatever that's been sending you all of this negative energy. You can see the eight of wands and the four of swords. You have these two people or this couple. They've been sending you an energy to force you to kind of sit down to rest and to retreat. They were doing this in hopes that you would be out in the cold and that you would surrender and give in to what they're doing. But I feel like what it actually did is it put you on a better path. So, because I've seen this in the readings lately, it's like someone has been spiritually attacking you, your love life, your finances, your family, everything in your environment. And what it actually did is it forced you to walk by faith and not by sight. You may have seen everything in your life falling apart, but you knew that this was going to end and whatever was coming about in this ending, it was preparing you for something much greater. I told you guys this three or four months ago. I told you when this time comes, do not be easily shaken or broken. It's all a part of the plan. Trust the process because you have a, a commitment here. For some of you, this is a new job, an opportunity. Opportunity you could be getting. Um, for some of you, you could be about to like close on a home. You could be getting a new car, but you have something that is going to um, be very important for you over the next 10 months. And it's going to set the stage for something for the next 10 years of your life or even longer. So this could be, you be um, going back to school, you starting a business, okay? I feel like whatever this is, though, with the Nine of Pentacles, you are going to have to grind. You're going to have to hustle. You're going to have to grind it out. But your energy is finally coming back, okay? Whatever these people who were in the background were doing, okay, or you just holding on to some type of heartbreaking situation, when you finally heal and recover from that, all of this energy is going to come in towards you. Mm -hmm. It is. This is something from the past. You may have gotten confirmation about something from the past, and now you have made a final decision. You're like, let me get the, let me get away from this because it was nothing but confusion. For some of you, somebody was in the background and they were doing a lot of sex magic, chaos, confusion magic on you, and it had you confused. You didn't really know which way to go, but now something is coming and you're making a decision. You're like, no, I'm out of there. Two of swords. You're like, no, no, thank you. You could have had even um. Somewhat of like a, a connection with someone. It could have been passionate, but you had to realize it was passionate, but it was confusing. 
And for some of you, you did have a brand new passionate connection coming. And that is the reason why someone started to attack you. When someone got confirmation that you had a passion new beginning, they started sending you chaos, magic, and confusion because they wanted you stuck, stagnant, at a standstill. Now you're like, wait a minute. Whoever this is, you have to trust yourself. You're like, wait a minute. Why have I been stuck? Why have I been stagnant? If it's not you, it's the person that you're dealing with. It seems like somebody finally got a very, very um, sweet offer here. Something like love came in and then all of a sudden some someone started to either try to sabotage you, your life, or this person. But somebody definitely has been doing a lot of spell work on someone's connection. Why? Because they got confirmation. Someone from your past, they got confirmation that you have someone new in your life. And that this was a passion new beginning that was going towards the Ten of Pentacles. So they started trying to confuse you. This is coming to an end. They, they can't do this to you anymore. Thank goodness. The moon. But the moon, it fell out sideways. If it's in the reverse, yeah. It's a, it's a death, an ending to all of the illusions and the confusion. The truth is out and you are going towards this new beginning. Whether this is marriage, commitment, a new job, new house, it's something for you to celebrate. And this is what somebody wanted to do. They wanted to hold you back from this. All right. And I hate to always say it's somebody else. But for some of you, it's, it's also just like I said, mindset. It's something in your subconscious mind. You're like, oh, these people, they've been bothering me for so long. You have to stop giving it power. Yeah. Somebody here wanted to hold on to you because you walked away from them. They saw that you had a new offer and they was like, no, let me get you. Let me get you hung up. Let me get, let me delay you, whatever it is that you're doing. Yeah, but somebody finds you very, very attractive. They see you single, self-sufficient and abundant. Could be this king of wands person. This person is coming in to communicate a truth with you. What is the truth? That they want it all with you. And then the two of cups. Somebody found out that you had a relationship, just period. They found out that someone was really interested in you. They could have done a reading. They got some type of information and it stressed this person out. They got very, very stressed out and overwhelmed when they found out that love was coming into your life. It could be a feminine. It could be um, man, woman, couple, whoever. But somebody has been looking into your life and they, they found exactly what they was looking for. And what they found out was that you were on your way to being very happy. And they, they did something to try to sabotage this. 100%. They worked hard on creating chaos and conflict. Look, here it is. Here's the magic. And the lovers. They worked very hard doing chaos and conflict magic. They wanted you to have several sleepless nights. And they wanted you alone. These people want you single and alone. Suffering constantly. And this, they used magic and spell work to do this. They either paid a lot of money to do it or they worked very hard to do it. All because you have a new divine contract. That's what this is all about. Somebody was very adamant to just stop you from having love. The judgment card is here. But see, what they did, it forced you into an awakening to make a new plan. Some of you, it's like if they found out that you were with a, with a particular person, you may not even be going towards that person anymore. You're going towards whatever and whoever makes you happy. It's, it's weird because a lot of people, they think that they know you so well and that they can anticipate all of your moves, but they can't. It's like somebody here has went, went and tried to attack even a new relationship in your life and you may not even want that relationship. So it's like they're mad because you won't come back to them. They're trying to attack someone that's in your life, but you're moving on from them and whoever they're trying to attack this in your life and you're still going on to something else. It's something like that. Like somebody, their aim was just off because they didn't know all the facts or the information. Somebody thought they knew you and they, they don't. Nine of Cups, you're going towards wish fulfillment, just period. Yeah, and you're going to have a very, very strong family. You finally have the courage now to just be happy and the will of fortune is here. It's like God, the divine, is in support of you being happy. This This is over. Somebody was really, really working with this um, this energy. The Queen of Pentacles is here and the Empress. Hmm. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here and the Empress? Yeah. Some of you, you have a scorn lover for sure. The Queen of Pentacles is here and the Empress. 
somebody saw you as a queen of pentacles but you're actually the empress they could have actually married someone else but they know for a sure fact that you're about to go from the nine of pentacles queen of pentacles to becoming the empress because you are receiving love from a true divine masculine whoever this person is they're a king of pentacles they want to be an emperor, but they can't get further than being a king of, king of pentacles because they chose to be with a queen of wands. So this person can never be an emperor unless they were to actually be with a divine feminine. But you're, you're, you're gone. You're moving on now. And this person, they're upset. This person could have secretly got married to somebody. Or they're in a relationship. They keep trying to come into your energy and hide the fact, though, that they are suffering in a relationship with this other person. So let's just take it back for a minute. Venus retrograde. This person thought that they were going to get out of some type of toxic situation or they were going to have their foot in that situation and deal with you. Right. When they decided, oh, let me see what's going on with divine feminine or divine masculine. Because they weren't happy at home, which they've never been happy at home, most likely. What they found out is that you actually had someone in your life or someone coming into your life. They started throwing spell worry, hexes, curses, and everything else at your life. And then they got really, really upset that you were rejecting them. This person was like, I don't understand why are you rejecting them. You were rejecting this person because Spirit had already told you that the real deal was coming. So you didn't you didn't you didn't um, allow this person into your life for your energy. It really upset them. So they went in the background and started to spiritually attack you. OK, this Hierophant card, this could for sure be like a, a coven, a cult, secret society or whatever. They started to attack you because this person was so butthurt and wounded that you don't want to deal with them. Because they had a plan to rush in and celebrate with you. You blocked them. You was like, no, I don't want this. Because you want something that's real and true. You blocked this person and it was heartbreaking to them. But you blocked this person because you knew that they had a third party. You knew that this king of pentacles was still with this queen of wands. So you was like, no, you can either deal with this person and you could be their match. But see, if you're the match to this person, you're still always going to be on the on the outside because they're, uh, this Queen of Wands is always going to be there. You're not going to be this person's main attraction or priority because this Queen of Wands, is that's who they chose. This is like a married person that wanted to force you into a third party situation with them and it didn't work. And they, they tried to break your heart repeatedly because they wanted you to pretty much like close your heart chakra down so that this new love couldn't come in. Somebody is watching you though and they love you and they are protecting you. Somebody, whoever this new person is, they can watch you and pick up your energy all in the spirit. So they're protecting you. They already know that you're supposed to be with them. They're watching you and they see you already as an empress. So whatever this chaos and drama, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. This person, they, they kind of watch you from 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 a distance from the shadows or in the spirit they're watching you and remember i was saying earlier whoever this new person is whether they're in your life now they're coming they're healing as well they're going within and learning and healing and possibly trying to get past something in their life also this is just really good though oh the high, high priestess see and the king of cups high priestess king of cups this could for sure be like a water sign Scorp heavy, heavy Scorpio energy. Let me see. Um, there's either a, a, a truth coming out. Wow. The temperance. There's a masculine out here. This person's emotions are being balanced. And I feel like with the high priestess, you were being advised that you needed to temper yourself, have do things in moderation, have self-control. This King of Cups, I feel, is this same person here. It's this new person who's your true divine masculine. This person was waiting on some kind of secret, though, to be revealed to you, for you to learn something about yourself. For some of you, you have a true divine masculine. They, they're waiting on you to open your heart before they can come in and, like, really, really join in a union with you. Wow. The lovers. Yep. Yep. So your twin flame was just waiting on like the perfect time for you to heal and to get these other people out of your energy. So they've been sl very slow about coming towards you. They do want to come towards you and move on to peaceful, calmer waters. But 
it's like the two of you had to drop something. This person was trying to wait for you to finally drop all of your disappointment about a past situation where you probably overgave and you didn't receive what you wanted because you didn't you didn't get what you wanted from this person because this person was given to this queen of wands. So they've just been waiting on you to finally make a decision to come out of all of this mental conflict and exhaustion and to recognize that they're not actually the bad person. For some of you, it's like there's a person in your life and you're treating them like they're the bad person. So you could be making a new person pay for what happened to you in the past and they were trying to get you to see, no, you were dealing with someone in the past who was a part of some kind of wicked um, group that had you experiencing a lot of mental instability but it wasn't them mm. it feels like for some of you it's like you this chaos and this confusion and conflict the whole point was to make you take something out on a person that was not doing anything to you it was to make you assume the worst and pretty much push away a serious offer and it feels like you got pulled out of this illusion at the perfect time because you were it seems like somebody was very very close to missing an opportunity and that's exactly what the enemy wanted you to do here it is right here the lover is the tempers and the star. That's the twin flame. Somebody was doing everything to make you miss out on the opportunity to be with your twin. This is what you were waiting on to come in, what you were manifesting. But they were on the they was like, well, if we create enough, enough chaos, conflict, and confusion by watching you and monitoring you, sending monitoring spirits or whatever, then you will just miss out on this. Wow. So you have a person in the background who was sending you so much bad energy that you probably have been pushing good people away from you. This person was trying to isolate you because they could see by looking, you know, in whatever way, spiritually, energetically, through tarot, whatever, they could see that you you were connecting with not just any old body, but with your twin flame. They saw it and they did everything to try to sabotage it. Yeah. Judgment. Judgment is being called. There's no more stagnant energy. That's over and done with. It's over. Somebody here needs to accept that they missed an opportunity, but they wanted you to be discontent and bored. They wanted you. The three of cups is celebration. When you saw happiness, friendship, family, fellowship, um, having all the reasons to be just happy and celebrate, they wanted you to look at this, anything that was good. They wanted you to look at it like it was boring. And I've talked about that before, how sometimes when you come out of these very long, toxic, karmic cycles, when you find something that is peaceful, you will be conditioned to believe that, oh, this boring because you're not used to peace. So some of you are finally coming out of survival mode and you're like, no, like I'm, I think I'm happy, but what feels happiness is so foreign of a feeling to you that you think that it's something wrong to just have peace. You think you're bored. You think you're discontent. That's the enemy trying to play with you so that you will stay in survival mode, so that you will stay up in arms and mean, bitter, hostile or whatever. Or you will attract those type of people when the whole time it's like God was offering you what you really wanted. So you have somebody in your life or around you in your environment. This is either happening to you or the person that you're meant to be with that has been sending you so much chaos and playing with your mind. To make you really think that something is wrong or that it's bad, that's actually perfect for you. Wow. Ace of Wands with the Empress. Yeah, this is over. You have a, a brand new passion beginning. Look at that. Six of Wands. You were able to overcome this... Um, this magic that somebody did during Mercury retrograde because this was all to stop you and to slow you down. Somebody was mad that you walked away and you chose to go towards your actual destiny. Wow. Lovers, temperance, the star, four of wands, eight of cups. You left something behind because this person, they wouldn't stop juggling you. 
And it was not only exposed that they were juggling you with somebody, it was also exposed that this person was working with some type of um, satanic cult group. They were doing rituals also to block you. Now you have the full truth. And now that you have the truth, you get to go now, have wish fulfillment be stable and abundant on your own, but you're also receiving a huge, huge gift. Like God is gifting you with something amazing that's going to allow you to drop all of your burdens. You will no longer be stuck feeling isolated, regretful, or anything. Somebody is coming in. There's a new energy. This Knight of Swords to me is always like, it's like an energy. It's coming in, not necessarily a person, but it's this super fast energy. The swords is the mind. Something that's going to come in, it's going to be like, boom, you're done. No more mental exhaustion. No more betrayal. No more feeling like you're rock bottom. It's over. Balance. Six, six. Sixes are all about balance. Some of you, somebody has been doing something to you since last year. Because last year, 2022, was the year of the number six. We're now in the year of the number seven, which is like the chariot. You're supposed to be moving forward into victory and success. They already knew that. So they started working on you probably last year or even in two. I'm here in 2019. Somebody has been tracking you. They're like, oh, yeah, you have like a divine counterpart coming in. You're about to level up in your business. Or whatever the case is. So they've been actively working on you. But this is someone that many of you, you were in a relationship with this person. They chose someone else over you. And it was them as well as this cult or this community of people, whomever, that probably worship the devil. They were all, it was all hands on deck and trying to cause instability for you. And to cause you to block your heart off so that you could not receive love. This was a, a serious attack on a twin flame relationship. So your karmic soulmate or whomever, they knew what they were doing. And it's all because you're moving on a peaceful, calm water to something where you're going to be happy and at peace. This person is coming into your life. It's everything that you ever hoped for. High priestess and the emperor. You wanted to be as a high priestess. You want to be in a relationship with a true divine masculine. Somebody who can love you, support you, they can understand you, and the two of you, you can grow and evolve. And it's supposed to, this is your karmic justice to move forward. This is so good. Ooh, amen. I'm not even going to drag, I'm not going to drag this out at all. I'm, I'm going to leave this right where it is. I'm going to pull a few of these love cards and that's it. This is so direct. Hold on, before I, wow, the Empress and, and the, and the, um, I'm sorry, the Hierophant, what am I talking about? It's still Mercury Retrograde playing with me. I'm saying the Hierophant, I mean to say the High Priestess, but the High Priestess, you will be in a connection with someone who is a Hierophant. They will be, um, taking lead in their life. They will prioritize God and their spiritual journey just like you. But the emperor is here with the high priestess. This person, like I said, they're kind of in the background. They're watching you because the emperor needs things to be in order. The high priestess, you have a lot of knowledge and you can trust your intuition, but the emperor is a more practical type of person. You have a divine mask and they've been waiting on you to clear this drama out. They've been waiting. This person knows that you have some kind of spiritual contract. Everything that has happened was to teach you all of these lessons. Had you not experienced this person, you probably wouldn't have actually elevated to becoming the high priestess. But now you're going towards a real, like a real twin flame. This person already knows like who you are. They know what's in your energy. They're waiting on you to fully heal so that you can, I'm here so that you can receive them. This person is like, you need to be able to fully receive me. And you've been assuming that this person was doing a lot of stuff to you when in actuality you have a, an ex or someone from your past, friend, family member, whomever, them that couple or you're this ex that can't lead who is trapped in another relationship that's also a part of some kind of coven now this person could be a part of this secret society or for some of you you just have an ex as well as some type of cult or coven or something like that that has been attacking you some of you it's just a lot of people who have been attacking you and it's because you are divine and for some of you you are truly a twin flame so people have been attacking you. I don't know if the ex is connected to the coven for some of you or it's an ex and this coven. But for some of you, 
you have someone from your past that was always a part of something very dark and you just didn't know about it. But when they realized that they couldn't come towards you and they saw that somebody new was in your life, they definitely, they started sending you all these spiritual attacks. It can't, it's not working anymore. It's very clear. Like this, it's over. Yeah, something was not for you. So you started building your life. This person here is part of a community. Yeah, wow. But it's faded, Divine Feminine, for you to have peace. Everything is being cleaned up. It all has to be done by the book. You have to go through, through this to learn that everything that glitters is not gold. You were in love with somebody who was no good. They showed you a part of their life or themselves, but they didn't show you the really, really dark part, which is that for some of you, yeah, they could be into magic or into some type of group or something. Now, Spirit is like, well, we need to clean everything up and, and do everything by the book because you are about to exchange gifts with your actual counterpart. So the two of you can move on to Treasure Island. Spirit is like, well, the two of you, Divine Feminine and Master, I need both of you to let go of fully of your karmic situation. So for some of you, you're going through another spiritual like awakening, but it's different because you're awakening with another person or for the sake of you. Wow. Look at that healing. You, you have to heal your inner child in order to receive this cosmic gift, this blessing. This is so good. Yep, you're releasing. You release somebody and you moved on. Divine Feminine, this is your message. You have a totally new perspective about a person, a place, thing, or a situation, but in, most importantly about yourself. How you see Divine Masculine is totally different now. You're, some of you are realizing that the person you're meant to be with, they're so different from your usual type and expectations. Yeah. Somebody's going to bring you a lot of new experiences. This is family. The new experience for you is for you to experience love. A person who's going to make the, off, the, the effort they're going to provide. It's a fresh start. Oh, my God. Of you just being happy. And it's because you finally put up boundaries with something and someone that wasn't serving you. And you cut all of your ties. I talked maybe six months ago, early in this year, about you guys renouncing yourself from these different covenants. Some of you, you don't know or you didn't realize that by being in a relationship Hanging out with certain friends, family members, and especially sleeping with certain people, whatever darkness they were tied to, you yourself were tied to the same thing. Even if you made no contribution to it, it's a soul tie. Some of you, you for months, you've been getting rid of a soul tie. And I feel like now the cords are finally being severed. Yeah, because you focus on self-love. Now you receive wish fulfillment and here comes a new exciting love. Oh, this is so good so good you could be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio or the person that you're connecting with is somebody here was just bringing you a lot of negative toxic manipulative energy they were being ruled by ego this person could be a fire sign before we saw the king of pentacles and that queen of wands so this could be someone who has fire in their chart or they chose a fire sign person over you because it was all about the money with this person you, this person could live at a distance, but they're having conflict with whoever they chose over you. Yeah, spirit is saying, don't worry about it. They're obsessed, but you need to trust the process and continue to allow yourself to just heal because very soon you're going to be redeemed. And this is all your karmic justice because you were willing to heal your inner child no matter how complicated the, the journey has been. You did it and now you have union. These cars are not telling any lies. Yeah. You're rejecting somebody. You reject it. You have to reject a person. You have to reject someone and you have to heal your wounds around rejection. You have to finally be okay with the fact that somebody rejected you and they chose another person over you. Whatever hell hole they're living in with that person, that's their business. It has nothing to do with you. It's time for you to make a decision. And you need to make the decision now to go out and enjoy your life. Friendship. You can have a friendship with someone, it's leading to more. This friendship could be leading to a business partnership. Some of you, your friendship is leading to you realizing that that's the love of your life. You're protected. I don't feel like you were actually available to offer yourself to a person or somebody wasn't available to give you all that they wanted. It's like God was literally making sure that you and another person, you had to go very, very slow until you healed um, some type of like bad energy it was it was due to a soul tie obstacles yep there it is 
Unwill, unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement with who? Your twin flame. And for some of you, you don't know your twin flame. You will know because you can be totally open and completely vulnerable with this person. You've done the work. So this twin flame union is coming to you now. However, the timing wasn't right. Perhaps when you met this person, you needed to learn more about self-care and healing. And you definitely need to get over whatever happened with this person who chose someone over you. A lot of you, you're like, oh, well, I wasn't dealing with that person. But the situation, it hurt you so bad that it was blocking you from being able to see anything good for you. This is a message for sure for a divine feminine. Sweetheart, you are going towards your union. It's coming together. Your unhealed wounds and childhood wounds around rejection and the hurt and the pain from this karmic, toxic soulmate or this false twin flame, whoever this unawakened person is, this manipulative, narcissistic person, it hurts you bad, but like it's time to move on. You have to now exchange your mind, body, heart, spirit, soul with somebody else. You can't go around anymore with that nasty energy on you. It happened. It's, you know, you have to take accountability for the part that you played in it, but it wasn't meant to be. And that's okay. This person chose a community over you and that is okay. Allow yourself peace. Be flexible. Learn something new. Meet new people. But stop stop beating yourself up you literally have a real twin flame here this person has been waiting on you to receive them some of you it's like you needed to work on your feminine energy and the masculine they're they're trying to work on their feminine energy also so that they can receive your love it's all about the feminine energy this could be a this could be a masculine who's also needed to tap into their feminine energy they may not be in a place where they can truly receive love. Take it how it resonates. This is a divine feminine and masculine who are both finally like ready. They're like, okay, wow, we we had to go through hell, but finally there's some peace. 